Jim Lehrer was an American journalist, novelist, screenwriter, and playwright. He was the executive editor and a news anchor for the PBS NewsHour on PBS and was known for his role as a debate moderator during U.S. presidential election campaigns, moderating 12 presidential debates between 1988 and 2012. Born, May 19, 1934, Wichita, Kansas, United States. Died, January 23, 2020, age 85 years, Washington, D.C., United States. Spouse, Kate Lehrer, M. 1960-2020. Children, Lucy Tom Lehrer. Parents, Harry Frederick Lehrer, Lois Catherine Lehrer. Jim Lehrer net worth $48 million U.S. dollars. Early life and education. James Charles Lehrer was born on May 19, 1934, in Wichita, Kansas. His mother, Lois Catherine, née Chapman, was a teacher and bank clerk, and his father, Harry Frederick Lehrer, was a bus station manager. His paternal grandparents were German immigrants. His maternal grandfather was J. B. Chapman, a prominent Church of the Nazarene figure. Jim had an older brother, Fred, who was a Baptist minister. He attended school in Wichita, middle school in Beaumont, Texas, and graduated from Thomas Jefferson High School in San Antonio, where he was a sports editor for the Jefferson Declaration. He graduated with an associate degree from Victoria College and a bachelor's degree in journalism from the Missouri School of Journalism at the University of Missouri in 1956. After graduating from college, Lehrer followed his father and older brother, and joined the United States Marine Corps serving for three years as an infantry officer in the late 1950s. He attributed his service and travels with helping him to look beyond himself and feel a connection to the world that he would not have otherwise experienced. Career In 1959, Lehrer began his career in journalism at the Dallas Morning News in Texas. Later, he worked as a reporter for the Dallas Times-Herald, where he covered the assassination of John F. Kennedy in 1963. He was a political columnist there for several years, and in 1968, he became the city editor. Lehrer began his television career at Care TV in Dallas, Texas, as the executive director of public affairs, an on-air host, and editor of a nightly news program. In 1972, he moved to PBS in Washington, D.C., to become the public affairs coordinator, a member of Journalism Advisory Board, and a fellow at the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, CPB. He worked as a correspondent for the National Public Affairs Center for Television, Impact, where he met Robert McNeil. In 1973, they covered the Senate Watergate hearings and the revelation of the Watergate tapes broadcast, live on PBS, this coverage of the hearings would later help lead to and be the inspiration for what would eventually become the mcneil slash Lehrer Report. Lehrer covered the House Judiciary Committee's impeachment inquiry of President Richard Nixon. In October 1975, Lehrer became the Washington correspondent for the Robert McNeil Report on 13-slash-net New York. Two months later on December 1, 1975, he was promoted to co-anchor, and the program was accordingly renamed the mcneil slash Lehrer Report. In September 1983, Lehrer and McNeil relaunched their show as the McNeil slash Lehrer NewsHour, which was renamed the NewsHour with Jim Lehrer, following McNeil's departure in 1995. The program was renamed the PBS NewsHour in 2009. In order to maintain objectivity, Lehrer chose not to vote. Lehrer underwent a heart valve surgery in April 2008, allowing Ray Suarez, Gwen Ifill, and Judy Woodruff to anchor in their stead until Lehrer's return on June 26. 2008. He had recovered from a minor heart attack in 1983 when he was 49 years old. Lehrer stepped down as anchor of the PBS NewsHour on June 6, 2011, but continued to moderate the Friday news analysis segments and be involved with the show's production company, McNeil Lehrer Productions. Lehrer received several awards and honors during his career in journalism, including several Emmys the George Foster Peabody Broadcast Award, a William Allen White Foundation Award for Journalistic Merit, and the University of Missouri School of Journalism's Medal of Honor. In 2004, he was awarded an honorary Doctor of Journalism degree by McDaniel College. Personal Life For six decades until his death, Lehrer was married to Kate Lehrer, who was also a novelist. They had three daughters and six grandchildren. His father was a bus driver who briefly operated a bus company. 
Lehrer was an avid bus enthusiast, a hobbyist, and a collector of bus memorabilia, including depot signs, driver caps, and antique toy buses. As a college student in the 1950s, he worked as a trailways ticket agent in Victoria, Texas. He also was a supporter of the Pacific Bus Museum in Fremont, California, and the Museum of Bus Transportation in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Lehrer was a prolific writer and authored numerous novels, as well as several plays, screenplays, and three personal memoirs. His book, Top Down, is a novel based on the events surrounding the Kennedy assassination. His last play, Bell, was produced by the National Geographic Society as part of their 125th anniversary celebration. Death On January 23, 2020, Lehrer died from a heart attack at his home in Washington, D.C., at the age of 85.